In this tutorial, I will accomplish the following. Create a TypeScript-based React application, using the npx create, dash react, dash app command. Install and use the React hook form library. Utilize the use field array hook. Here is the command to create a React application. It will use the TypeScript as the base script language. And it will be named test dash use field array dash app. I'm going to change into the directory of the new React application project. With this command, I will install the React dash hook dash form library. Code dot is a shortcut to open the Visual Studio Code IDE. I will create a folder named Components. I'm going to create a new React component. It is going to be called Test Use Field Array Form. This line of code is importing the use field array and use form hooks from the React hook form library. Think of an invoice form. Usually, the top contains fixed fields, customer name, address, etc. At the bottom, there is an itemized list of products. The fields for each product are fixed, product name, price, etc. However, the number of products itemized is dynamic. The use field array hook helps us to handle the itemized items. The my fields interface is strongly typed defining the fields of each item. The form fields interface defines the fields of the entire form. If this was an invoice form, the form fields interface could define the customer related fields, customer name, address, etc. However, to simplify the tutorial, I am going to define just one field, inside the form fields interface. This field is the one that will hold the itemized list. In this case, defined as, my field values. Here I'm defining the function component to host the form. Then, I'm defining the initial items for the my field values. This line passes the init my fields array to the my field values property of the init form fields object. Here, I declare the utilization of the use form hook. I define that the use form hook is expecting to handle fields declared in the form fields interface. I set the initial values for the form by passing the init form fields object to the default values property of the use form hook. The use field array hook will be treated like any other field in the form. However, it will hold an array whose length varies dynamically. Yet, it also needs a name, hence the string, my field values, being passed to the name property. The use field array exposes functions to list the array fields, to append, prepend, remove, swap, move and insert items. This defines the function that will be called when the user clicks on the append button. The use field array hook provides, out of the box, a function to append items to the array. This defines the function that will be called when the user clicks on the prepend button. The use field array hook provides, out of the box, a function to prepend items to the array. Meaning, add to the top of the list. This defines the function that will be called when the user clicks on the insert above button. The use field array hook provides out of the box a function to insert items to the array. An index number is passed to define the position within the array to insert the new item. Another click event handler to test the insert function. This function is called when the user clicks on the move to bottom button. The use field array has a function named move. 
The use field array also provides a function to swap items and to delete an item based on its index position within the array. Finally, we need a function to handle the form submit action. In this case, I am not trying anything fancy, like calling a backend API. I am simply showing a serialized string of the form data. I am going to define the body of the component. First, we need a form. And the form points to the onSubmit function to handle the submit click. The fields function provides access to the items in the array. We iterate over the items using the map function. The map function gives us access to each item and its index position within the array. The elements that will be repeated need to be uniquely identified by the use of the key attribute. ID is the default name that the use field array hook provides automatically. However, if you need to use a different identifier field, you just need to set it within the declaration of the use field array hook. Just like we did for its name. Here is how we bind each field of the array item to input controls. Notice the use of the index variable in the path to the field name. Now, I am going to bind the buttons to their respective click handlers. I am going to select the entire content of the form so that I can format its indentation by pressing Shift, Alt, F. Notice that the buttons, defined within the form container, are bound to handlers pertaining to commands that should be applied to individual items in the array. This means, for each array item, these buttons will be rendered. When the user clicks on any of these buttons, the action is applied to the respective item. Outside the form, I added the button to handle the use field array append command. Because append always means adding to the top of the array, this button should be declared outside of the form. Same for the prepend command. And the swap command. I accidentally declared the submit button, outside the form. Do not worry, I will fix this in a minute. This React application is to show my form component. Therefore, I selected its tags and I will replace them. With the test use field array form component. I'm going to use the npm start command to launch the application. I'm going to test the buttons. Pay attention to what each button that I click do. Starting with the insert above button. To test the on submit, I need to move the submit button into the form block. <laughs> 